Okay? I see that meeting. That's it. Okay, that's it there. Oh, my class monitor, be careful. <laughs> okay? Now, I want to read something for you from this book. Now, to show you how serious the issue of hunger is, people are really hungry. And you know that. Where in Lagos, where they bring all the food in Nigeria to, and yet people are still hungry. Zero one one, Abi, zero zero one or thereabout. Now, I read something here. Hunger has been described as a potent woman destroyer than war, and the facts are very staggering. More than one billion people, billion, are chronically hungry. Every year, 13 to 18 million people die as a result of hunger and starvation. There are 12 months in a year. So we're talking over 1 million people die of hunger every month. Now, more people die from hunger in the past years that were killed in the two world wars combined. Now, the number of people who die every two days is more than the one that were killed by the bomb they dropped in Japan. They are killed to 40,000. Now, every 24 hours, let's limit it, 35,000 people die as a result of hunger. 24 people die every minute. That before we finish this program now, over 14,000 people have died of hunger. Is that serious? Now, 18 of whom are children under five years of age. When I saw this, I felt so bad. I saw it in the book written by Lester Sumra. It's a, it's a Pentecostal church in the U.S. They wrote a book, That Faces of World Hunger. And God spoke to him when he was in Jerusalem. The man is dead now. He's been with the Lord. God told him, start a Joseph end time feed the hungry program. Go out and feed the hungry. Now, like I told you, I was in a one-room apartment then. I'll tell you what happened then. I was a blessed, blessed person when I was, I never worked with anybody all my life. I've been doing a Korean business with over 30-something staff as back as 1989. But when we married, there was this attack from the other side, you know. And then before I know it, that my lovely wife was in the hospital for over three months. Before we know it, our firstborn too was in the incubator for over two months plus. You should know how much you have in your account. You must finish it now as a man. And you can't go back to your old base to ask them for money. Because they told me I'm going to come back and beg them. So you should understand where I'm coming from. Now, so it's in that one room, even though everything was stripped of me in terms of cash, but this one was not stripped. The intellect. <laughs> So this helped me to know how to have compassion on people. You know, I would have been a dangerous person. Because, because why? Because I never knew what hunger was. But that incident made me understand where they call Iyanopaja. That's why I still stay till now. I was somebody brought up <laughs> at the KJ and the rest. But that's when I began. And I love the place. So let's go ahead. Now, when I saw Lester Somral's uh, details, I told myself I want to be a part of this hunger solution. What the church did was they bought a ship and told the members to bring food. They would not take it to an African country. They went to Rwanda. They went to Liberia. They went to Ethiopia. Price of food would just drop. But instead of doing that, why can't I or some of us empower people to produce enough fish to load a ship? You can make that happen. By understanding this now, I'm now training a group of young people to make that happen in African countries, sir. Isn't it? I feel that is more potent than even telling them, bring a sandim, bring this one and all that stuff. Do you agree with me? And that's why I made up my mind, 1996, no, 1997 January, the man went to be with the Lord some months later. I have never seen him face to face. I've never been to America before. I've never been to America. But yet, the same spirit God infused into him is infused into me, and that's why I'm infused to so many Christians because... It's a hugely goldy, godly affair, highly Pentecostal in nature. It's part of the Great Commission ministry. Let's clap for Jesus for that. So, so how do you produce catfish fingerlings? Everybody keeps it a secret because that's a solution to know how to produce fish. Now, how do you produce it? The first thing is to know how to know a male and a female fish. Because the fish in the river will produce baby when it's just rainy season. Listen, though, the fish will wait until there is water from rain that will cause a flood. The water will become brown so that the whole place will be dark. You know, it's a, it's a black fish. Then, you know, the water will go over grass. Some grass will die. Those ones that die, they will produce what they call infusoria. 
those are the small, small food that the baby of the fish will eat in about five days' time. Are you listening? Because what is happening in the river in your village is what you want to make happen in your own room. Now, those grass that have died, mind you, those ones, they will be the ones to be the food. When they decay, they produce what they call paramecium and the... Uh, you know, I'm a banner. All these people will do biology. But for the sake of local market women here, yeah, it will produce more small food. Now, some grass are stubborn. They will still stay, stand, can't go like that. Those ones are where the, the fish will go and put our eggs. Are you getting me? So as the water is passing by, fast, 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 it will blow. You know, the water is blowing. That's the incubator for the eggs. So in about... 24 hours or 12 to 24 hours, the eggs will ash in the river. But unfortunately for the catfish, the baby will be about 10,000, 15, 20,000. But after three, four, five days, man, from the 20,000, the thing will remain just about 200. In one week, the thing will remain just about 10. You know why? Frogs, toads, birds, other fishes, water self will even wash some off. And that's why fish is still expensive. Even though Jesus has made provisions to make fish to be the best protein for all of us, to be cheaply available. So what do we do? So some white people have discovered the method, so I just copied them and innovated. So they have done something to create that environment to deceive the fish. When the rain is falling, you know what the first thing they find out? They find out that there's something inside the brain of the fish. They call it pituitary. Can we call it? It's more like a pinhead. It's the same thing that makes a boy to become a man. It's the one that makes a girl to become a woman. Once your pituitary begins to get sensitive, you begin to grow bia bia, you know, mustache and all of that stuff. You begin to look mirror extra, begin to notice girls, you know. And for women too, you know, use pancake. You want to make your hair, you know, that kind of thing. Now for catfish, once rain begins to fall, that thing will become double. So once that thing becomes double in the head, the pregnancy will become big, the stomach will become big, and then a male fish will just know, ah, this lady is fine, oh. then he will now go and begin to, come, 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 you come. Now, he now begin to, he now begin to make pass at the female fish, just begin to knock her tummy, bang, bang, like, that. ah, why you move back, you know, like that. Now, when he does that, he's helping her to remove the egg. At the same time, he's releasing the milk like the sperm cells, on the eggs. So the eggs will just flow and make the grass. In about 12 hours, the whole thing will hash. But the problem is, who will save the eggs now? You can see that one. <laughs> now, so that's what we're going to do. So the first is to know male and female fish. Don't bother that I'll be short here. There's a CD. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not up to a thousand naira. It's less. They say we can only announce price because if you give it to me, I'll just say free. But, you know, you get at less than one-tenth of the price. Now, there's a CD that even if you cannot read and write, you can actually do it when you say it happen. Is that okay? Is that okay? Now, so what's happening is this. Instead of killing that fish, another fish now, to remove the head, and killing a male, we only kill the male to remove the testes because the testes is inside the fish. But for the stuff, one man in Canada... Mr. Sindel made something they call overprim. Can I have overprim here? Can we call it overprim? Now, this thing, what it does is to be like that stuff. Don't use it for human beings. No. <laughs> Are you getting me? So, once you take the injection, uh, you take a little out of the liquid and you put it inside a fish. Are you getting me? You put just, where's the needle? You put just, uh, where's the syringe? It's in the bag. Do we have it here? Okay, yeah. It's here. Thank you. Now, you have the siren. Let's have the male and female fish. Oh, no, the male. You know, the female is ready. You have your bowl ready. You do bring the bowl. No, male now, male. Male. Is that the male? Bring it. Now, you beam it for them to see. Now, you put that, that stuff I showed you now, the overprint. I need somebody to... Okay, where's the overprint? Somebody to hold the mic for me. Okay? Uh, now, you saw what I brought out there, the overprint. Now, you now put it inside this injection. Two mil injection. Is that okay? Thank you. You put in a two mil injection, right? You draw it like a nurse. <laughs> That's interesting. 
if you like, go wear white something, coat, you know, so that you will look, say you go Japan, go land the thing. So that your neighbor will not think, say, now nah, inside church. So, you just draw. Now, you use weighing scale that you use for fish at home now, to measure fish, to measure gary or something. You measure it. If the fish is uh, half of a kilo, 500 grams, you just measure uh, two lines, about two and a half lines. You measure it, and you now inject the fish on the right side of the fin. Look at it on the, on the right side here. Right? You let it go in. Almost the whole needle. Then you now press it out. You press the hormone out into the fish. Is that okay? Now you, you press about half out. You put it here again. You finger rubble. You know? You know? If it's still remaining, you can put here. But just one side is okay. Is that okay? You finger rub. You now put inside the water. Is that okay? And wait to find out when will the pregnancy be okay. How do you know? How do you know when the pregnancy is okay? You get uh, a thermometer. That's the same. Now, this is just, you might not need this. Are you getting me? Because many people in the village don't use this. Do you get me? I'll mention it for people who like to use, uh, make it look complex so that your neighbor will not contempt you. Is that okay? Now, they sell this 500 naira, or this lab that they sell, uh, what's it called, glass something for school children now, 500 naira. You look at the thing there. If you look at the temperature, now the temperature is 29. Look at the figure there. If you look at the 29, inside the book, let's look at, where's the book? Single is good for me. Now, don't worry, after this, if you're a little bit confused, my wife is always there. I'll give you a number. You call her or call her out to probably give some small explanation. Or everything is explained in the book in drawings. Are you getting me? We drew, I'll show you something here. Look at so much drawings. There's a video to show you what it is. And then you can see, hear me talk. And it's drawn and it's written in words. So what more? But you know, you will still be afraid to all you take step. You must take step first. Even if you make mistake, at least you have done the first step. Then you will learn how not to make mistake again. There's nobody who started crawling and just one day just stood up and then begin to walk. What happens now? You fall once or twice and learn how not to fall again, isn't it? Okay? Now, let's go ahead. Now, when you watch, now, on this book is one secret I put there for everybody to benefit on page 14. Now, when we wanted to do this fish, we look at temperature yesterday. We put in the water. We see it was 29, eh, no, 27. So when we check 27 on this stuff, we see, say, the egg, the pregnancy go ripe after nine hours. Nine hours. Then, when we fertilize finish now, the whole thing will be ready. The thing will hash in 23 hours. That means about this time tomorrow, now the thing will hash. When we finish fertilizing now. So what did I do? I now decided to not to sleep till 2.30 in the morning, this morning. So that if you calculate 2.30 plus 9 hours, it's about this time now. Though we have already shot the time by one hour plus. But it doesn't matter. You know I'm demonstrating for you. But exactly about 11.30, the fish is ready. But mind you, if you don't have this at all, just inject, weigh the fish, just inject. What you just do is that after about, you do it at night, in the morning, just carry the female fish to check whether egg they come out or not. We already see egg start coming out now, right? So if you don't have, just check. If you do it like this and egg is not coming, you know it's not ready. But once you hold it and you see egg running, bam, you quickly go and start facing your male to get the testes of the male. So I'll reduce my talking now and quickly do the practicals in your presence. You'll see it on the, on the, on the screen. Is that okay? Many fisheries professionals don't like this at all. Say, so why am I making fisheries look funny? But people are hungry. Do you need to get a certificate before you can do this? No, I want to hear you. Do you need that? So let's, let's go ahead. Now, where's the, where's the male fish? 